Training area Fort Monos Base. Okay, who's next? This is Unit 6, Walter Fang. Walter Fang? Unit check is complete. All green. I'm ready. Uh huh? Fang, eh? Your marks so far are quite good. But from here on, you'll need to ride a Fonzo. Wait, so he was just uh, doing physical activities up until now? Don't slack off! Yes, sir. Well then, let's begin. Start your Fonzor. Let's start with the basics. Try moving here. Right, we got our tutorial. The blue square indicates your movement range. Drag the cursor to any square and press press circle to move. Yeah, that's that's the biggest uh, difference between from Mission Three, Four, and uh, this this game. The Japanese key bindings you circle as the confirm button and X as the uh, no button to get out of the menu. So I'll need to get used to that. But otherwise, seems pretty damn straightforward. Similar to the previous from Mission games. If you're done moving, select end from the commands menu. Walter Feng, AP 12 out of 12, move 6, level 1, backpack item, Frost. I guess the, I guess his Vonzo's name is called Frost. He's got a shotgun and I think the symbol next to that is impact damage. 400 HP on the body, 222 HP on the arms and 311 HP on the leg. Uh, hit. 80 64 what is that damage 14 times 8 ap3 attack 2 oh so in this game also shotguns attack twice if i press the square button he's got the press needle on his left hand let's check that out pb what is pb pile bunker pile bunker for pierce damage attack 2 ap1 so if I press triangle, okay, it gives me a detailed uh, screen, status screen here. W slash P. Oh, that must be weight slash power. AP max, AP charge, evasion. Oh no, there's evasion in this game. Status evasion, pilot type tactical. That's a new thing. Pilot type tactical. Body defense. Th what do you mean defense? Each part has defense. BP item output output 48. So maybe we get some extra power from the item backpack as well. RS, LS, so that's shoulder. Right hand shotgun, left hand pile bunker, range 1, 1, attack 54 into 1. But I think what what I saw in the status screen is that even the melee weapons attack twice. I, and I, uh, are there multiple screens here? Oh shit, there are multiple sc screens. But this is interesting. A in addition to HP, each parts also seem to have defense. That's interesting. Uh, t -t -t body, no special features, no special features. Special features, eh? Job status and equipped skills. Striker. Next 1140, Assault, Gunner, Launcher, Mechanic, Jammer. Pilot level 1, no that's pilot level. Okay. So it's like for e each type of build we have experience levels and that caps out at 9. Okay, this is kind of like front mission uh, 3, yeah. So here they're just named appropriately. Instead of melee, it's called striker. Instead of, uh, I guess both machine gun and shotgun would be considered assault type. A rifle would be called gunner type, I suppose. And launcher is for missiles. Mechanic is for healing. Jammer is for uh, the equivalent of a radio backpack. Interesting stuff. They, they've uh, put a lot more concepts into this. Oh wait, what? He doesn't automatically move. Okay, that's that's a regression. But I guess that was done to save time or something. So if I have if I click here, he won't immediately move. Only after I select end. 
You good? Here's the next step. You'll be fighting this target here. It's an unmanned unit. Can you use your weapons? Show me. Uh, when you attack, the squares within, yes, blah blah blah, will be displayed in red. You're gonna attack enemy units within this range. Okay, so let's try out the shotgun. So I assume, uh, go back to the shotgun. Gale, shotgun is called Gale, so even the names of the weapons seem to follow the same uh, system as from mission 4. This guy's got a machine gun, war loss, and a pilot type assault. I wonder if that makes a difference, but anyway... I want to see if accuracy, what kind of accuracy difference do we have. So right now we got an accuracy of 72%. But if I go close to him, will I get better accuracy? 80% I do! Okay, so that same concept applies. What about if I hit him from behind? Do I get even more accuracy? Not really. So I wonder if the evasion mechanic in this game is as prominent as in Front Mission uh, 4. Alright, let's hit him with a shotgun first. Shotgun should attack twice. If the display is to be believed. Oh, thank God. The the noise that the shotgun makes is a lot more bearable. And we get some some experience towards assault level. Let's try uh, let's try melee. Damn it. Melee are more accurate, but even with the pile bunker, I'm only getting 88% accuracy. Hey, he only attacked once. I guess that's because the enemy died. And why do we get two experiences there? Okay, that'll do. There's more targets up ahead. Let's move on. The targets are these two units. They're also programmed to counterattack. Don't drop your guard. Destroy all targets to end this training session. Yes, sir. This time, try using more than one weapon. To switch weapons, blah blah blah. Press a little strike a weapon and has a range of one square. Okay, while it must be adjacent, it deals damage to the body part easily. That all? Thank you. Okay, so very basic stuff. These guys are melee units. I wanted to test out uh, whether melee attacks twice. Even though I'm going to counter attack, let's check this out. 61 damage. Why did you do extra damage? Okay, so it does look like uh, they put that feature in. So even melee is going to attack twice. That is uh, very nice. When enemies attack, you may be counter-attacked. The enemy has striker weapons. If you attack from two or more squares away, you will not be counter-attacked. Okay, very basic tactics. Damn it! Shotgun is still very inaccurate. Alright, let's just finish these guys off. Can we skip? No, we can't. How do we skip animations? Oh, okay, okay. It takes a while though. Why do you only attack him once?
that's it. Not bad. Your handling is rough, but you've got the basics down. Proceed to stage 4. Yes, sir. Okay, next. Uh. Next! Unit 14, are they here? Uh. This is Unit 14, Randy O'Neill. Ah, O'Neill. I talked to you before. No food in the... <laughs> no food in the cockpit, you damn idiot. You don't think ahead. Go redo stage 2. And redo the basics again. Yes, sir. Looks like this is going to be our uh, real go.